top of my Pete's garage. We're putting the finishing touches on the 350 here. Got some brackets on the front, and now I'm putting the exhaust manifolds on using our special Nordlock washers. Now, if you remember when I put the oil pump in, I used that Nordlock washer on there, and these are the Nordlock washers that have the serrations on both sides with the ramp up in the center. So when they start to come loose, when the bolt starts to come loose, the washer actually tightens up the joint. And when this car, or when this manifold, or when this engine is stuffed into that Corvette, and you can't get to these bolts, you're going to want something in there that's not going to come loose. And those Nordlock washers do a fantastic job. Just a little Permatex Ultra Copper on the gaskets. Slide those right in there, and you can torque it down. And once you have these Nordlock washers tight, they are going to stay that way, which is awesome. And they all go to 20 foot-pounds. One last check. Make sure it's seated. Move a little bit. A little bit. As you're crushing a gasket, the torque is going to change. So you can do it a few times just to make sure they stay. And you don't want any movement when you go back and do that. No movement there. Hardly any there. Hardly any there. So there we go. No movement means it's torqued down nice and even. And our Nordlock washers will make sure it doesn't come off. Put in the studs for our exhaust. And just put the lock washer and the crimp nut on there, just for safekeeping. And repeat on the other side. One thing you can get for the exhaust manifold are these lock plates. And these lock plates simply go underneath the bolt, and when the bolt is tightened down, you fold these tabs up to make sure that the bolt doesn't rotate. But when you use a Nordlock washer, that thing's not going to come out of there, which means I don't have to put these in. Not necessary. Some of these side heat shields were pretty dirty and they had surface rust on them and all I did to clean these up was put some oven cleaner on there. You spray oven cleaner on there, let it soak for a little bit and uh, a Brillo pad and they come out nice and clean, almost like brand new. 42 years old and they look almost brand new. Awesome. Now if you guys have been following along with the series, this is the heat riser part where I took the butterfly out of the inside and I, I silicon bronze TIG welded that shut and I just coated it so it matches the manifold. And we put this on here. There's a gasket that goes in there but I'm just sitting this in place and uh, see how it looks. That's going to look real nice. Worked out pretty good. Now since this needs to fit underneath the hood of a Corvette, we have a nice low profile air cleaner to top off the whole thing. Beautiful. Well there you have it guys, the 350 Chevy small block start to finish. I hope you enjoy the entire series. Now, if you want to see more exciting engine building series I have coming up, please click on the subscribe button. And if you'd like to get a notification every time I upload a video, just click on the bell next to the subscribe and you'll get a notification. Thank you for all your comments. I appreciate everything uh, you guys have suggested and all the conversations we've had as, uh, as this build went along right up to the end and the Guess the Horsepower contest. And uh, it's been great. Thanks a lot for all your comments and thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. Thank you.